let's talk about ePlan and let's talk about the single line representation. In ePlan, we have the possibility to draw single lines and yet have all the wire information. Let me show you. Once I'm in ePlan, open a schematic page that is specific, that is a single line representation. So that's the only thing I did here special. You can start um, inserting some devices. So we have to know the device because when we do assign a device, when we define a device like a motor, we actually know how many connections we have here. So that's very important. Pick the motor, just place it, and there we go, we have our motor. So if I want to connect this, typically a motor is connected somehow to an overload or a protection device. So let's see here in the protection devices, what kind of protection devices we have. This is an interesting one. So I'll just take it, the right symbol appears, I'm just gonna rotate it, and here, hook it up. There we go, so that's perfect. This is exactly what I want. Um, now at this point, I can insert what we call a connection definition point. Now, of course, this connection definition point, as it is, is representing multiple wires. In a single line representation type, what we see is this interconnect device appear. And here you can say, okay, we have triple safety fuse, and we have here these outgoing connections, two, four, and six, which will connect to the um, individual U1, V1, W1 of the motors. I can just connect like this and bingo, they are connected. This will appear automatically in our wire list. You can go here in the wire list and you will see in this wire list, we now have one, two, three, four uh, connections that will appear between the motor number one, motor number two. So this all came and is all appearing because of the connections that I just made in here, okay? So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is what we see. So if you take these and you duplicate, same thing as we know from ePlan, let's say three times number, you get everything, it's perfect. And my intention here is to uh, eventually use a cable. I can use a cable. I put a cable in here, and this time around, if I assign a part number, which you typically do to a part, like a cable, pick here a part, this is a cable that has X number of conductors, I want to choose one conductor that is a little bit bigger than the other con regular conductor. Why? Because I want to show you that all the connections are now available. So if you go again on this connection definition, you change its representation type to single line, there we go, you will see the interconnect diagrams. And make sure that the edit cable is there because now what you can do is you can say, okay, from the triple safety fuse, I want to use these three connections as they are here, and I want to generate a cable. In this cable, I could even choose these connections and move them down by one. So maybe use the brown, black, and gray. Or if I want to use the blue one, I can use this one. I can choose whichever I want, how I want it. This generates in my wires. Last but not least, in some cases, you will have to go through a terminal. So if you start, of course, you will come along and you would probably say, ah, oh, let's go with a terminal. This terminal here is my TV1, perfect. The problem is I can't really use that TV1 as it is because that's only one terminal and that doesn't work that well. So we have to open the terminal strip navigator and somehow come up here with a certain number of terminals. So I can say maybe I want 20 terminals within that TB1. I want to choose specifically, let's say an ST terminal. So I'm going to choose here ST, goes down to some uh, Phoenix contact terminals, as you can see. And I believe that at one point in time, maybe if I scroll through here, ST terminals, where are they? So I don't know the part number by heart. I would love to but I don't, so let's go with ST4. Let's see if I'm a little bit easier than on the selection. Uh, I would love to fall directly onto it. Feed through terminal, here we go. ST35, not really far. So as I, I'm moving up, that's an ST16, ST2.5, ST10, that's a good one. Let's take that one, okay? 
And there we have, now we have some terminals. And what this does is the next time around, if I go in here and I place one of these connections, I automatically will recognize how many terminals there are. And I can now hook up these terminals. So I can say, okay, among those, connection two, four, one, are connected, let's say, to these terminals here. So I just connect them and bingo, you have your connections done very easily like this, you know. And of course, once this is done, you can run your reports. Any of the reports that have been declared in your template will automatically show up. So in my particular case, I do have a wire list that is here and that includes the cable. So we can actually recognize the cable that we just did earlier. And within that cable list, we will see on the left hand side our devices on the right hand side with the right colors exactly with the brown black gray as I did this assigned and there we go u1 v1 everything is there all the details are there and I never created a, a detailed uh, schematic for this a three line schematic here is the wire list so this is basically the list of all the wires that we have so we have some of the connection two four six two four uh, six again that are going to either a terminal strip or a motor this is all generated automatically using just a single line interesting technique